prosper. I'm hoping that I find you well. And uh, yeah, it's time for the lunch and learn. And I hope you're ready, taking down notes, and you're ready for the next 30 minutes where we're going to be giving you uh, bulletins and information that's going to be helping you start, scale, and grow your own business. Like I said, my name is Prosper Tarwinga. And if this is your first lunch and learn with me, I'm the founder and CEO of Live Long Digital. And I've also created the world famous online prosperity blueprint. Your four-step system that's uh, designed to help you start, scale, and grow a profitable and enjoyable business, all right? So I would like to welcome you to this segment of the Lunch and Learn, and we're basically talking about the overwhelm of social media. I don't know about you, but I think, um, you know, there's, there's a lot of noise on the internet right now and it makes it so difficult to know where to start what to start with and how to get around it so i hope this video is going to clarify that for you and if not it's always good um we hope to improve let us know how we can do that for you okay right so without further ado i, st I started off uh, writing this um I have to write it backwards though, so it looks a little bit wonky on there. I swear to God, this is not my little girl that wrote this. So we want to find out which social media is actually really good for you and, you know, why that that is so that you can avoid a lot of overwhelm and so that you can avoid a lot of mediocrity while you're trying to put yourself out there. Okay, I, I must admit, it's not easy. Right now, if you're watching this, and if I'm really correct, correct me if I'm wrong. You're searching for leads, okay? You have no guaranteed income. You're studying everything online or every course that you can find just so you can get ahead. You probably don't have a system to follow, and you don't have a process that you're following from day to day that is consistent and is actually bringing you leads or stuff that you really need. Mukesh Kumar says, is high prosper i also like to be prosperous well thank you <laughs> well it's a journey and i'm happy that you're coming along with the journey i'm not saying that i i, I know it all i'm also learning in the process and everything that i learn i try and impact it back to the people that i think might need it the most the reason being the internet is now just filled with so much what I really now call just data or data. English is not my first language, but find out how you can pronounce it. D-A-T-A, -A, data. All the information that we're being given, all that stuff on how-tos, etc., etc., is causing so much more confusion than is doing any good. Okay, it's leaving you very frustrated. You probably just buy something because it's a shiny object. You automatically don't have freedom because you're jumping from one course to another, one email to another, and nobody is really giving us the right kind of information to actually dive in, sit down, strip the skin off, and actually tell you the skinny of what actually works and how to actually go about it okay uh erica says great to be here again this is going to be interesting of course i look forward to show erica and sweden thank you so much great and erica erica Fe ella says prosper i love your energy thank you so much for tuning in and thank you so much for being part of the process as i said i'm the creator of the online prosperity blueprint your four step guide to online prosperity i'm also learning in the process and whatever i learn i hope to impart to people so that you too can build a business that's profitable and enjoyable okay so start a business they say um uh, Get clients, it will be easy. Uh, go on social media. Uh, promote yourself. Uh, put yourself out there. How are you expected to do this when it's all confusing, when there's no one-size-fits-all type of social media, when there's just so much for you to handle and you just are left with overwhelm and very, very big confusion. At the end of the day, you don't do nothing at all. Are you in that same situation? If that's you, just type in yes at the bottom there so that I can I can see if I'm speaking to the right kind of people here. All right. So obviously they tell you to promote yourself, put yourself out there. And every single day you wake up, you are overwhelmed. You, you don't know where to start. OK, so I want to ask you this question. 
are you actually ready right now or or are you ready to actually get your hands dirty and actually start promoting yourself online all right peter i see you just joined uh and uh hansel and gretel thank you so much for tuning in okay are you actually ready now to start promoting yourself online if you are ready just type in yes so that i see the people that are tuned in right now okay see the thing is we are all busy we are all human Okay, we've got families. I've got a two-year-old daughter. I've got my wife. I've got clients that I have to look after. Some of us are making money. Some of us are not making money. And the problem is you just consistently have to be there. Do you know what I mean? Whether it's working or it's not, there is, you, you have to be there for your clients. Otherwise, you're just going to be a one-click wonder. And people really like people that are consistent. People want people that they can trust. People want um, to, to, to handle um, or to work with people that are ready to, to be there for the long haul. Now, how do you do that without overwhelming yourself and making yourself really, really tired and confusing yourself like what Orna says? Not sure. It is so confusing. Okay. All right. So, you know, you might ask. What sort of sites are going to deliver the most bang for your buck? Or what sort of sites are going to deliver, you know, most views or most um, coverage of your work? All right. And, and I'm, I'm here to tell you that it's you. It's up to you to decide that. Don't let anybody make that decision for you. All right. You know, how can you make sure that you're going to be using, you know, the, 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 the best of your time? Because you might have woken up right now and trying to fix something on your Facebook. Automatically, it's already midday. And before you know it, you've only just accomplished one task and you haven't done anything. Whereas you see people like me or, you know, other people online, they're omnipresent. They seem like they have things working um, to their benefit, etc., etc. Okay, and you are there, you really want to communicate uh, to your fans, you really want to bring out your message so that people can see the value in what you've got to offer. And I assure you, it's not going to be easy, but I get you. All right. So, you know, there's not a one size fits all and there's not going to be a go on Facebook just because they just recently, um, you know, um, they just recently pronounced that or, 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 or made a report that there's two billion people that are checking in on Facebook. But those two billion people, are they looking at your stuff? All right. Just like what Peter Combi has just written there. I don't know what he's in reference to, but he's talking about porn sites. You're actually right. People are just thinking of money, sex and gossip. That's all that matter for them to start looking at your message for them to actually start considering your blueprint or whatever it is that you've got to say. It will take time. It will take a lot of resistance. Rel rel uh, uh, re you got to be relentless. Okay, so there's not going to be a one size fits all or there's not going to be a tailor weight action plan that you can actually take, you know, to, 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 to reach to these people. It dwells on your own strengths and your own personality. That is the only thing you should bet for your own strengths and your own personality. All right. Like Mukesh says, I love your energy. I don't expect everybody else to show up on their life every single day like this. It's because I planned this way in advance that for the next 365 days, that's my challenge. I'll be showing up every 30, every two, every 2 p.m. AEST for 30 minutes. I'm going to do it for a year and I'm going to start wanting to see what results I will get. All right, I'm not just going to do a 30 day challenge. I'm not just going to do a fortnight challenge. I'm going in hard and I want to break this system. All right. And I will give you the results next year, right about this time. And I tell you whether to do this or not. You know why? Because I've done it to the fullest, not just 30 days. And then I think that's how it's done. All right. We haven't fully explored all social media, um, you know, uh, channels. We haven't. We haven't scrapped the surface. Facebook, if you ask me, it's still a teenager. One day it's moody, the other day it's got acne, and then and the next day it's in a different whole world because of its algorithm. All right? So we can't fully say this is the seven steps you gotta do, these are the 14 algorithms that you gotta follow. It's your personality and your own strengths that will actually make you win this game. 
All right. So, you know, for me to, to, to come here to you and then, um, you know, start telling you that do this, do this, do this. You could try and do this, but maybe you can't hold your own. Do you know what I mean? Maybe you can't really hold, um, you know, no, a, a conversation with people online. And then I tell you, you got to reach out to 10 people every single day. But maybe that's not how Peter is made up. That's not how Matthew works. So your own strength and your own personality is how you're actually going to win this game. All right. So for, for me to help you right now, I want to help you figure out who you are in the social space. Because I don't want you to become a one-click wonder in front of your clients. Grand opening, grand closing. It hurts to see people saying, please, please come and like my page or come and join our group. Two weeks later, that group is disheveled. Because nobody is watching your stuff and nobody cares. But let me tell you something. You gotta make them care. And all of that comes from your strength and your own personality. All right. So you can't show up every single day like I do. You know why? Because you can't be me. You can't be Gary V. You can't give people money out like Ty Lopez. You can't be like Peter Combi, who's always around hot cheeks and stuff like that. You can't be that person. Do you? And you will see your social media skyrocketing. All right. So like I said, I really want to help you out to figure, figure out this, um, this topic. And then I really want to break it down for you so that it's not confusing. So that you go in knowing what exactly you need to do and how to do it in order to actually win this battle of social media. There's four things that you really, really need to figure out where you stand. Are you good at text? Are you good at audio? Are you good at video? Or are you good at still images? That's what social media really is. All right? Just that's what social media really is. Are you good at text writing? Are you good at audio? Do you know what I mean? And are you good at a video like this as a Facebook Live? Or are you good at still images? Once you know where you're at and what it is that you actually can do, stay in your lane. Don't try and do things just because you've seen Prosper standing on, on photos and doing still pictures like that. Do you know I graduated from model school? All right. So you can never compete with me when it comes to photographs. You can never compete with people that went to voice coaching. You can never compete with people that have people that train them how to, um, you know, master their brand. You can never compete with people that have lunch with, um, you know, Pat, Pat, uh, Patrick Pat Davis. You can never compete with the next person because you don't know what they're s staying on. So you got to stay in your own lane. Figure out what are you good at and what is your strength and then just stick with that. Let me tell you something. People would appreciate you a whole lot more if you're actually doing your best instead of just being mediocre. All right. And people would appreciate that a whole lot more. So you don't know what team I have behind me. I've got people that are running my videos. I've got people that are running my, my photos, editing them. I've got people that probably write stuff for me. And then all I do is I get an email or a message and then I just post it. And there you are sitting there trying to do everything. You go on Instagram, you go everywhere, and then at the end of the day, you yield nothing. All right? So it, it, it gets confusing. It gets overwhelming. Just do you. Look at your strengths. Look at your, your own personality and then maximize on that. The problem is society is, is brought up to, to shun what we know as our strengths or to want to amplify our weaknesses. At school, if you're not good in math, all right, if you're not good in math at school, you, 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 you're treated as, 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 a, as, a, as a nobody. If you're not good at a certain subject, you're treated as a zero. You know what I mean? Just because you're not good at that. But your big strength is probably in writing. Nobody, nobody comes to your house's door and tells you, I read this and it was really, really good. Nobody wants to amplify their own strengths. Stay in your lane and social media will be the best thing ever. I cannot write. If, if anyone asks me to write, because English is not my first language, I had to learn to speak. So that's why when Mark Zuckerberg came in with this Facebook Live, I was like, thank God. You know why? Because this is where I can actually create and relate to the people that, um, you know, are in my uh, following.
All right. So Matthew says, all I needed to hear was do you. That's all I needed. Thank you. And says great insights. I found out yesterday someone I thought did everything, outsources everything, perceptions uh, uh, smashed. Of course. A lot of a lot of really busy bodies. I don't want to lie to you guys. I have a whole string of stuff that I outsource. The, the, the content creation, every single bit, what I don't outsource is what goes in my mind. What I read, I don't, I don't outsource that. Because obviously it's like going to a fitness instructor and you sitting there eating cake and then watch him work out and expect that, you know, um, you, you, you get the abs or you get the, the, the muscles. It doesn't work like that, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to really start by diving into the vehicles of how you deliver a message all right so this is something that you should be very very um you know careful about and 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 once you know what your strength is it makes it a whole lot easier for you to actually stay in your lane and actually marginalize that stuff which you are really good at and then just watch that flourish into a, a, a prosperous um, you know, uh, business, all right? So, you know, like I said, there's text, there's audio, there's video, and there's still images. Find which one is your nook and then stay with that. Okay, so obviously with text, it's, it's, it's easy. You know, this category is going to include short tweets. You know what I mean? And, and, and your posts on Twitter or your status updates on Facebook or whatever you add on to your Facebook groups, pages, etc., etc. And a lot of articles that you might post onto a blog or if you can guest blog for other people, stuff like that. Also, email messages that you send to your, 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 your list, people that you have taken the email address from, you know, the, the messages that you send um, behind the scenes, etc., etc. okay? And then you also have, um, if you can write, seriously, if you can write, you can, you know, reach to your audience through text. All right. So don't try and now become somebody that you are not. If you are good at writing, maximize on that aspect and use social media using the parts that you can use your, your, your strength, which is actually putting words to paper. All right. And, and, and don't go out and start taking photos if you're a shy person and, and then just make mediocre stuff out of it. Let that be other people's things. Okay, you don't have to be everything to everyone. Just be you and people will appreciate that a whole lot more. So like I say, if you can actually write moderately well, this is actually the easiest and the most common way to communicate online. All right. And then it even gets better. There's uh, a program, I think a uh, video, video program It's new. It's called Lumen 5. You can actually then transcribe those blogs into a video. Then you've created other pieces of content. People need or people come to the internet to get information. And if you're providing them that information with one of your strengths, which is writing, then they get to know, like, and trust you. Okay. They're not going to expect you to be there on video, to be on photos, to be everywhere else. And they're not even going to be expecting any less than you have already shown them that you're good at. So stay in that part up until you can afford to outsource and then do all the other things. All right. And I think um, audio is another very, very, very big thing. I've heard that the mind actually thinks by the ear. I don't know how true that is, but whatever we hear, we actually retain a lot more than what we see. All right. So, you know, they, they say maybe a picture is worth a thousand words or something like that. But I want you to explain things like love. Can one picture actually just explain what love is? You need a thousand pictures for you to actually put that away. So if you hear somebody saying, I love you, it's, it's, it's a whole different game ball than somebody just showing a picture of you and your partner. All right. So you really want to figure out where your strengths are. And if you can talk, use that voice to push your message. All right. And Jack, thank you so much for tuning in, buddy. All right. So if you've got a decent speaking voice, I know some of you guys are being told you've got a radio voice. Utilize that. All right. And then if you're actually comfortable using it and doing it, you might actually record yourself offering helpful advice. 
you know, and you, you might be delivering a commentary on, on some topic that's happening within the news, and then you just do your very white voice, you know what I mean, and then you're like, today on social media, I don't have a radio voice, I've got one of those squeaky little voices, so I'm not really good at this point, but you know what I mean, if you use your voice, because that's your strength, all right? Nobody's ever going to take that away from you and nobody would copy your voice. So then that's how you then differentiate yourself in the market. Because if you're going to try and do a live video like this, you're going to meet, you know, heavyweights or heavy kickers like me. Do you know what I mean? You're going to keep find heavy kickers like Grand Cardone, heavy kickers like whoever you respect right now in the marketing industry. Just do what's re what comes natural to you and it doesn't look like work at the end of the day. You know, everybody, everybody tells me, oh my God, Prosper, you're so enthusiastic. Oh my God, I love your energy. But you know what? This is my strength. My strength is in talking, is in, is in, you know, filling myself with passion and all that stuff. Do you guys. If you do you, I promise you, social media will be the best place you've ever, um, you, know, you know, has ever happened to your business. You know, Matthew says, I have a head for radio and a voice for silent movies. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but we want we want to do things that you know help um, you and get your message out there. You know what I mean. So if you've got helpful advice that you can utilize and and, and you can deliver commentary on on, on stuff that's happening, pop culture, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, on your top, you become the go-to audio genius. Right, so you can also create spoken word messages, um, you know, and, and and then when your people come to your website, all they do is just click the audio uh, thing, click the audio um, button, and, 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 and then they get the audio experience of your message. Because whatever you're going to be doing, whatever media you're going to use, you got to own that part. When somebody comes into your uh, realm, you got to show them exactly that part of your personality that you can as soon as you can. All right. So if the voice is the thing, put out the voice. Okay, so another option will be for you to start producing your own podcast, which is basically an online show that you can, you know, put out out there. I don't know if you guys have seen lately, I've been putting out um, a video of this guy who's sitting there wearing a tie and his name is Les Williams. That guy is totally blind. All right. He's totally blind, but he's got a vision. So we sat down and now we've created a podcast for him and it's called Five Senses. All right. No matter what it is, he is now utilizing his power of the voice. You should hear his voice, guys. It's like a Barry White type voice. All right. So he's not just stopping there just because he cannot see or participate in what's happening on the visual aspect of our social media. He's injecting it with his own voice. And I'm proud right now to say I've helped a blind man see a vision in his future. And I say that. All right, so you want to put this to good use. Your, your, whatever you have, you know what I mean. Your, your strength will give you so much value, and to those that are going to be listening to you, so that at the end of the day, you're not just going to be a one-click wonder trying to do things that you cannot do yourself. All right, um, just in case you get tired and and you want to scroll off, I've created one hundred content ideas into a PDF that you can download. So if you want those 100 content ideas, just type in content there while we, we wind this up. Type in content so that I can give you the PDF that I created with 100 content ideas. All right. So you can also then go into video. I show up every single day, guys, um, you know, with with this video live and i also do some other videos behind the scenes that are pre-recorded etc etc the thing is it's easy for me i just look at something once and then i can talk about it for days all right so video has actually become um, one of the most popular ways that people absorb content online all right so th there's a lot of ways that you can communicate using video that's why you can see my energy you can feel it you feel like you're part of it and i can respond to you right now all right so there's many ways that you can communicate using video simply you know just talking um you know like like a talking head like normally what i do uh recordings and then just speaking directly to a webcam whatever works for you or you can do interviews 
Um, actually, really, 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 really excited. Um, I just got this letter from my service provider that we now have NBN. And NBN means National uh, Broadband Network, which means faster internet. I'm going to be doing interviews. I'm going to be doing a B Live type thing. So expect a lot from this show, guys. It's going to be eh, fantastic. Okay? So you can do interviews. You can do um, you know, reviews from your fans while you're using video. Okay? And you can do sneak peeks of what's happening behind the scenes. Or if you're on the road, you can do back, um, what do you call them, backstage previews using your live, whatever it is, you know what I mean? Just giving people visual tours of what you're doing so that it's not just um, people are part of the experience. So you can use social media like that, all right? And, and, and if you're really good at narrating and stuff like that, use your strengths, all right, don't be overwhelmed by, oh my God, there's too much to do. And you end up, you know, wanting to do everything else. There's Fiverr, guys. You can always outsource, okay? And then the last thing that you can actually storm the internet and, you know, break it or I don't know what people are doing these days. I don't follow that much. Is by still images, all right? Like I mentioned earlier on, I did a, a, a modeling course where they uh, teach you how to still you know you know what i mean grab, grab an emotion immediately so i can take photos in any situation all right and that's a, a, a talent that i had to nurse and develop you can learn that online etc etc or you can take photos of what you do as your work all that can be part of how you can represent your message to a market that already needs to hear what you gotta sell all right so you know which social media category is good for you then you then figure out if, if i'm going to use voice what platform am i going to use is it going to be uh, it's teacher for my podcast soundcloud or am i going to use the live part of facebook etc etc don't just show up guys all right because at the end of the day um elizabeth says i am much better writer than a speaker any tools or tricks or uh, to practice being comfortable in front of the camera okay so this is uh, it, it's it's also up to you all right practice behind the scenes when nobody's watching all right and record yourself and judge and see how you're going normally i put out something like this and then it's just sitting behind the camera it's got all the notes that um, i'm gonna be speaking about so that i don't run out of things to say all right and then so that i know i write down the stuff Okay, just do what's, what's comfortable with you, all right? Because going on a stretch like this for 30 minutes, I'm putting myself at a big, big risk, Elizabeth. I might just run out of things to say, all right? So I, 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 I practice a whole lot behind the scenes, and I read and I immerse myself in my subject. I don't watch any other gunk out there. I just really, 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 really trust my instinct and just do what's really comfortable with me all right so you figure out what you're good at in in, in in immerse yourself into that subject and once you are very confident about what you know the confidence comes because right now we're talking right i'm i'm, I'm open to the world asking me any question and if if i can't answer it that automatically takes away my credibility and my confidence so if you know what's happening around you within the industry, etc., etc., it's always good to make sure that you've you planned prior and you've got a strategy on how you can actually win in this game. All right. So I, I can't I can't give you the courage. You gotta find it within yourself and find a reason why you need to show up on video. All right. If you don't have a reason, the first thing that comes in your face is gonna take you off guard. All right. So, you know, you, you, you want to make sure that if, if, if you can just maybe put a picture of the visuals of your products and then speak behind the scenes, see if it works. All right. And then maybe you can um, showcase uh, how you're doing your work. At least you, you're a baker, right? When you're baking, you can tell people what you're doing because you're actually doing the stuff. It makes it easy for you to translate what it is that you're doing. All right. So um, Steve says, get a good setup 
be comfortable. Thanks so much, Steve uh, Snedden. Thank you so much as well for tuning in. Like I said, I'm promising you a hundred content ideas that I created into a PDF. If you just type in uh, content there, I'll send you through the PDF that has all the hundred um, uh, ideas that I use so that I look like I'm omnipresent, okay? You really gotta be out there so that your people, your, 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 your customers and everybody else that's in your realm, okay, knows, likes and trusts you and we all know that people do business with those that they know, like and trust. All right, I gotta go out and uh, start making some moolah for my family, for my clients, etc, etc. And if you um, do happen to want to share this video, please do. If you're watching this on YouTube, please subscribe to our channel and thank you so much for tuning in. I know it was a bit all over the place, but I hope now you know that you can actually just bet on your strengths and go out there and create content that's actually relevant content that people would actually munch on that would then help you have a business that's full of profit and is enjoyable. This has been Prosper, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'll catch you again tomorrow. And I'm hoping that by tomorrow you would have um, gotten the content uh, PDF and start working and seeing what actually works for you. In the meantime, thank you so much. Don't forget to write content there so that I can send you through the PDF. Bye for now.